Well hi there folks. If you're into RC planes as a hobby you've probably seen or at least heard of the little glider conversion. Cheap foamies and they're great for converting to radio control. I should know because I've actually done 15 of the big ones. Singles, twins, twin fuselage. This flies beautifully and even a very simple Vulcan foam board plus little fuselage nose. Not to mention quite a few of the small little foamies including a lovely biplane and the mini mini little and incidentally build blogs for all of these are on my channel my original build blogs got over 50,000 views now but I digress what are we talking about today then Bob well a while ago I built my number 14 which was very lightweight and the idea was to use it for FPV flying I'm still on that quest and if you've watched my channel you'll see that it's I am making progress but I'm using my Bixler for it because it's got a better space inside for putting the electronics in. Anyway this was my number 14 and I converted it from originally tractor to a pusher so it's my only pusher version of a little so if you're thinking about building a little why not build a pusher this video shows how I went about converting my number 14 from a tractor that's prop on the nose to a pusher but equally useful to somebody who wants to build themselves a pusher little glider conversion. God that's a mouthful. So how did I go about it? Let's take a look. As you can see I also added an undercarriage. So easy to make. Coat hanger wire, a couple of wheels, a couple of those locking things on it. I made a video about that. I'll link it. it takes off from the ground nicely and of course that necessitated putting a rudder on and I've used a bit of 5mm foam board but with the paper peeled off which is not easy. So quite a decent sized rudder to give it some authority when it's on the ground and of course elevator there is foam board and that's also bigger than the kind of standard bit that you cut off when you're making one of these conversions. Anyway eventually it turned out really well and as it's the first pusher out of my 15 little builds loads of build blogs for those on my channel but this is the first pusher as I say so I figured I'd share it with you guys. First step was to remove the motor and luckily enough I already had a redundant nose sticking around from, from another little so that looks clean and tidy. I've stripped out the innards. Nice big orifice that runs all the way through here and with the help of microwave cheese and pasty ready meal I'm already on the way to making a mount to make this a pusher. The motor I was using on this is a tiny little 1811 1811 brushless with a 5040 prop but as far as I could see that was way too big to possibly mount on a pusher here you'd have ended I'd have ended up with the motor so high off fuselage it would have looked ridiculous so what I did was take a three blade prop and chop it down to what I think is a more suitable size for this and probably similar thrust to a three bladed 5030 it's a 5030 but we will see anyway I can always change it so this is where I'm at now made a nice little template it's going to sit there like so motor will be about here and the thrust line of the motor I believe should take you down to about towards a third of the cord if you want this to fly properly so next step I'm going to do anyway is to turn this into a, a mount probably foam board and popsicle stick so when that is actually finished I'm going to be able to have camera transmitter and its own lipo way down here well away from speed controller and power for the brushless motor I'll come back to you once I've actually built my mount and at the moment this is so lightweight it should be a nice slow flyer right well that's my mount two pieces of 5mm foam board the question is, is does it need two or, or is one enough plus do I need to put a little brace in there I can't imagine there's going to be much force on it anyway so I think it might just be glue and and looking at the width of that it's not going to affect the airflow very much around the prop might try and give that a little bit of a feather to make it more aerodynamic but that's going to go on there and I think I've got the angle about right so onwards and upwards so there we are my little pod and the little tiny plywood mount are on and 90 degrees got to try and keep it true 
it just remains for me to glue it on top of the fuselage and fortunately I've got some of this red covering tape kicking around so I have actually fared it a bit slightly improved the airflow okay and I couldn't resist putting a little bit of barbecue stick in it to help locate it and give it a bit more stability so there she is mounted very tricky job getting those little tiny screws in even though I'd made a template still couldn't get the holes lined up but I did come up with a nice a neat way of actually doing it with using a bit of sellotape on the back of that marking it with marker pen then putting the sellotape on the mount and drilling through that so that worked out all I've got to do is figure how I'm going to run these down through here or through here along the side and yes I know that prop is on back to front at the moment but I'm quite pleased with the way that's turned out. I think the thrust line is about right. Thrust that way looks pretty much spot on. I can always put a washer or two behind that. But I did my best to try and get everything square. So, as I say, I'm pretty pleased with that. Whether it's going to fly or not, I don't have an awful lot of luck with pushers. I think apart from the Bixler, I've only ever had one other pusher. And that just was a beast to fly. And I've most certainly never tried to make a little glider conversion into a pusher so all around it's a new adventure I must say I'm pretty pleased with that I've even managed to feed the wires for the brushless motor down through a little hole there I'll tidy that up at some point right through there into the fuselage of course if you're building a pusher you are adding weight aft of the centre of gravity aft that means behind which is here so at the moment in the absence of an FPV camera or transmitter on the nose I've got a couple of little bits of lead tucked in there and it's really nice on the centre of gravity with the 800 2S there. So I'm just going to give it, go and give it a quick five second test flight to see if there's enough thrust from this. I did actually change the angle of that a little bit since I, since I first glued it on and I've now got a bit more room there. I could actually trim a prop and make it even bigger so I'm going to give it a quick test see if it's going to get off the ground so we'll see how that goes and whether or not I need to actually put a slightly less trimmed down three bladed prop on there no it won't take off will it no no not enough grunt I think it needs more Nope. No. Is that nose heavy? So after that first not too great attempt at getting off the ground, it was time for a rethink. I was happy that there should be enough thrust from the motor because it had driven it before and I'm sure the three blade prop was doing just as well as the prop I had on when it was flying as a, tra as a tractor plane. So I was happy about that. I seem to remember too, at some point I actually hand launched it and it was uncontrollable. I don't, unfortunately I didn't get that on video, but undoubtedly there was something seriously wrong with this. Now, one thing I wasn't happy about was, advice I saw online was, thrust angle should go somewhere down like this, as in the diagrams, to center of gravity, which is crazy steep high. Now if you compare it with my Bixler, you'll see I've chopped and changed it so it's much more like the Bixler as you can see here. So it was time for another test flight. Unfortunately, hat cam wasn't behaving very well and it was pointing a bit too high. So you don't really see much of the early part where I hand launched. But the rest of it is pretty good. So let's take a look at that second test flight. When I shut the throttle, One is over that way. Oh, throttle actually, this is really nice now. Very lightweight, it's less than two under half throttle now. This is flies very nicely. That's with a three S in it. a bit I 
Oh, I think the battery just died. I gave it some throttle, tried opening it up, risking going low, risking going low there. Gave it some throttle to climb back and I think the battery died. But that is a great improvement on the flight I had the day before yesterday where I had struggled to keep control of it at all. So that was it folks. My first little pusher conversion had a successful test flight. I'll show you again the kind of angle I've got there if you're thinking about making a pusher version. And as I said, it's never going to be an FPV flame because there just isn't really enough room to put the FPV and a flight controller in this. But all the same, quite a fun, lightweight little flyer. Made a note to myself there, yeah. 3S480 LiPo and it needed 20 grams in the nose to get the centre of gravity right. But pretty happy with that. And as I say, I've made 15 of the big Liddles. Here's a little picture of just a few of them. But they're singles, twins, Vulcans, even EDF versions. The actual little glider is only in the shops once a year, but there are other, plenty of other versions online and it's a great airframe for converting to radio control. And there are loads of build blogs on my channel showing you just how to do it in step-by-step -step detail. My favorite of my 15 big conversions is the twin fuselage one here. Flies beautifully. In fact, I'll link that at the end. And my other favorite is my mini little. I made five of the mini littles. My mini little biplane, which also flies beautifully. I shall link the flight of that at the end too. But there's also a mini little hunter, a mini little four motor version. So endless possibilities for creation with these cheapo foamies. But I'll stop waffling on. That's all for now. If you've enjoyed my little video here about my first ever little pusher, please give the bit a like. It helps my algorithms. And if you want to see more of those or more of my flying stuff, please check out my channel. And why not subscribe if you want to see more of my vids. But I'll stop waffling on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. And here are those vids of my twin fusey and the biplane. Catch you all later. Bye for now.